Hi, Rob Moshine, AustinWineGuy.com here. Today we're talking about Cabernet Sauvignon, the big daddy red for most people. This is a very big subject. I, I could write a 300 page book about Cabernet Sauvignon, but I'm here to give you some of the highlights, kind of the Reader's Digest version. Cabernet Sauvignon is an extremely versatile grape. Uh, it grows in most climates and does very well. It's a very easy grape to grow and that's why a lot of people do it and it gets good results. The king of course of Cabernet Sauvignon is Bordeaux, particularly left bank and the prices there can be truly stratospheric but they produce a great wine. Uh, excellent Cabernet Sauvignon comes from Northern California, uh, Sonoma County, Napa Valley, these are considered also outstanding examples. Great Cabernet comes also from Australia, Spain, Italy, um, just about any place that has a warm climate, can, Argentina, Chile, all make very nice Cabernets. Cabernet can range from seven or eight dollars a bottle up to very expensive. It can be fruitier, softer, easy to drink, and all the way to wound up tannic, thight, tight and dense and thick. Uh, Cabernet of the more dense variety loves to be aged, um, so if you invest in a very good $75 to $100 bottle of Bordeaux or Napa Valley Cab and you have a consistent, cool place to store it, put that guy away for a couple of years and you'll be in instantly rewarded with a wine that is much more complicated, less acidic, less tannic, uh, and really just much more pleasant to drink. Uh, most people tend to drink Cabernet too young, um, but I suggest Try aging something once in a while. You'll be surprised. That is Cabernet in a minute. Rob Moshine, Austin Wine Guy for Wines.com.